Okay, so now I'm going to conclude this video. It's already too long, but oh well, I'll find a way. Basically, okay, for me, the bottom line is what your experience is, um, how much makeup you generally use, what kind of level you're using it to. Because I would say if you're kind of along my level, you know, like you're getting into it, you're doing more complex looks, you like you you want to build your brush collection and get different types of brushes, then I think that Sigma offers a lot of nice, really good quality um, brushes um, that you can't get in the drugstore, for an example. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, for example, the Sigmax brushes. These are amazing. Um, so if you're looking to build your kit, um, then these are really good. This is a really good deal. If you're a beginner and you're just putting on a like a sweep of eyeshadow, a bit of blush, you know, nothing too complex, then I think that it's probably worth getting just the um, professional kit, not the premium one. That has all the basics in it, all the things you could really want or need as a beginner um, and that's because although m most of these are outstanding brushes not all of them are and it's just going to be a waste of money you might as well just pick and choose the ones that you know you're like and you know you're going to use and just not bother with the ones that aren't great so I'm going to run you through what I think different levels should get Okay, so first off for a beginner, I would either recommend just getting the original premium set, which will give you the basics, or if you um, if you want to kind of customize it a bit, I would buy individual brushes. And I'll um, okay, first face, I recommend that you just get one powder brush. My personal favorite is the F thirty. Um, just because it's a good size, it's a good shape, and you can do lots with it. There are other options like the F20, but honestly, in my personal opinion, this is the better one, but obviously it comes down to preference. But I think this is a very good one. You can use it for lots of things. Um, then a foundation brush. Again, personal preference. You could go for something like a paddle brush, but like I said, I think this is better for... Um, you can get drugstore ones just as easy, so you don't really need to get it from Sigma. Um, but I would recommend getting anyone, anyone, I would recommend getting one of the Sigmax brushes. For a beginner, I would just get one, just choose a shape that you think you'll like. Because um, these are just ridiculous, they're outstanding for foundation. I don't think I'll ever stop using these brushes for foundation. Um, but if you do like a duo fibre, fiber then this is worth getting if you want a duo fiber brush. This is the duo fiber F50. Um, for blush I would recommend choosing between the F40 and the F10. Um, again personal preference this has an angle this is just a paddle brush um, but they're both very good so it's personal preference. There's a storm coming. Um, okay, for concealer, I personally think you could get one at the drugstore. But if you want to get a Sigma concealer brush, there's only two, two logical... Well, there's two concealer brushes. You can use any of them for concealer, really. Like, I love this for concealer. But, again, personal preference, I prefer this one. But if you want a simple shape paddle brush, this one's a bit smaller, then go for that. Totally up to you both good brushes. Moving on to eyes, for beginners this is decent. Um, if you're not planning on buying any MAC brushes anytime soon this one's decent to get but again you can get this in your drugstore you don't need to get it from Sigma. Um, however I would recommend picking up either the E35 or the E25. Um, this one's a bit smaller, a bit more round. This one's taller and longer. Both do an excellent job. Personal preference. But 
at the moment they are giving you a free blending E25 when you ship over a certain amount. I think it's if you buy like a kit or something. Um, or if you ship over a certain amount of money. So you could get the full size E35 and the travel size E25. Um, eyeliner. If you really want a Sigma eyeliner brush, I'd still recommend getting one from the drugstore. There are three options. Smallest, slightly bigger, and then angled. I personally don't like the angled one. I don't really use any of these, um, but again, personal preference. Okay, and then for more advanced makeup artists or just people that are really interested in makeup, first of all, I would say get all of these. These are all phenomenal, um, and that because they're so dense, they take ages to dry. Um, so three is useful to have. Um, definitely, I would get all of these. Um, I would get this brush. This is the Tapered Face E25. I just used it so much. And you can use it for a lot. You can contour, um, and it still make it still gives you a finer contour than if you were going to use one of these. And you can blend it all out. You can do blush. You can do highlight. This is a very good, and you can get powder under the eyes and stuff like that. So this is very good. Definitely recommend this. Again, I just love this brush, the large powder brush. If you already have loads of powder brushes that you're happy with, you don't need this, but I do love this. Um, and then last but not least, I would recommend picking up one of the short shader brushes, E20, or the um, slightly longer but flat one that I showed you. This is my personal favourite. It's just so good for getting under the lash line. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, bottom line, I would order them individually um, because not everything in that set is worth it, but some of them really are, so definitely order them individually. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention one. Where is it? Oh, yeah, sorry, that's why. I think everyone should get one of these. These are really good, and they're really inexpensive. It's the it's more Tapered Blending E45. I think everyone should get These are just amazing. Beginner or advanced. Anyway, so I hope you, you guys found this helpful. It's going to be a three-part video, which is ridiculous. I meant for it just to be one, but oh well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, found it helpful. Like I've already said, why am I saying it again? And I'll see you soon. Bye.